three-part uh, altered states. Uh, Louis Theroux's altered states started this week with um, what was the name of this one? Love without limits. Love without limits, which was about um, polyamory, poly, poly something. Polyamory or or polyamory, <laughs> polyamorous relationships. So it's it's about sort of almost the growing, um, fasc- not fascination, but you know, it Interest. becoming more. It becoming more ex- socially acceptable and not maybe... Particularly in Portland. Well, he was in Portland, Oregon, I, which I enjoyed because they've all got slightly strange accents, which made everything they said a bit more sort of... They're all a little bit Canadian, aren't they? So we've got um, Louis visiting various... I mean, there was three groups, wasn't there, really, that he he visited in this. There was um, Heidi and everybody's favourite character in this, Jerry. Oh, oh, Jerry, can we sort out a support group for Jerry right now? Please, well, Jerry and Mateus should be really fine. Jerry, I, Jerry's not a salesman because he couldn't convince me to buy ice if I was thirsty. Louis, how do you do? Hi, I'm Heidi. Heidi, how do you do? You must be Piper. Piper. You must be Jerry. I'm Jerry. Louis. I was with Heidi and Jerry Bringman, a therapist and an IT analyst, respectively. Twelve years ago, Heidi and Jerry opened up their marriage. You've got. Someone special coming over. Do you want to tell me who that is? Sure. So um, Jerry and I have been married for 16 years, and Joe and I have been partnered for five years. And Joe is coming over tonight for date night. And he is your, I mean, what would be the word? Uh, He's my partner. Your partner. Or or, uh, sometimes we'll say spouse. Spouse? You use that as well? We do. Joe and I got engaged earlier this year. You're engaged? I am. (laughs) (laughs) I know. It's kind of a crazy idea and what's your relationship with joe would you say i mean how do you describe him um overall he's my friend Mm -hmm. he's family um which is family of choice (laughs) you know so there isn't a special term for how you relate to him he's obviously not your husband he is not my husband metamore metamore i guess would be the metamore Mm -hmm. meta beyond she and i yeah yeah. I'm conscious we're talking about this in front of Piper. Yes. Is that is that appropriate? Absolutely, Absolutely. Yeah. You're okay with hearing this? Of course. They're, I mean, they're my family. May I tell you how we explained it to her when she was really small? Please. Sure. Okay, so you know how when you go over to your friend's house and you sleep over? She's like, yeah, I said, our family is different in that our grown-ups have sleepovers. That's it. And it wasn't until much later that we talked about what sleepovers entail, that kind of thing. Joe brings about a love that I could never give to Heidi. He brings about a happiness that I can't because you're taking two individual people, elements, mixing them and making something new. It's not chemistry, but it is chemistry, you know? So at what point did you decide that you were Polly? Oh, oh goodness. Uh, 12 years ago? Yeah, 12 really? Years ago. Basically, your wife yes. telling you that she's got feelings for someone else. Well, what do you say to the person that you love most in the world when they say they have feelings for someone else? It's, it's, it's an adjustment. It was fearful. Um, it was anxiety producing. And what did you decide? Well, at the end of it, um, approximately one month, um, I said, go for it. trying to get my head around it. Uh, Heidi, um, 12 years prior to the documentary, had hooked up with a fella called Joe, who um, she is now engaged to. Joe himself has a a wife, um, and both sort of married couples have children. And it's sort of Louis turning up every breakfast, basically, to go, <laughs> yeah. what's That's going on That's not here? a bad gig, is it? To turn up, oh, Louis, you're doing Louis, breakfast. Louis turns up more times for breakfast than the milk. That, do you know that's what... Joe. The reason that is, is because a lot of American hotels don't include breakfast. <laughs> oh, is that why? Yeah. He's only got a small crew, so I bet they think, well, if we meet here for breakfast and you, we perhaps, you know, have something to eat with you, then that'll kill He does do birds. a fair amount of cooking, and he does ask them if they want coffee. So, I mean, that is true. Okay. Right. Yes. And basically going, Jerry's upset, look at Jerry, and, and Joe and yeah. um, Heidi really didn't, weren't that bothered. She's and Joe's wife, oblivious to it. Yeah, Joe's <laughs> wife, Gretchen, was like, oh, we've had our problems, and Jerry's a, sort of an island. Jerry was hankering <laughs> after a threesome. 
Why couldn't uh, Gretchen and Jerry get together? That I would solve all the problems. That. I wanted that to happen so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you had that, and then there was like this strange, um, the the sort of the nerds, the IT crowd nerds. Yeah, um, yeah. Amanda, Nick, and Bob. I can't remember if it was Nick or Bob. One of them was high school sweethearts with Amanda. Not high school, college sweethearts with Amanda. Yeah. And then they'd met. I think it was Bob. And then Nick had yes. come along. Nick was slightly younger. And, and then there was, was also Q, which, right? Which one, which oh, no, one no, was no, the one no, that... No, no, Q was with Matthias and I haven't got... Okay, yeah, Q, yeah, Q, Q no, was the okay. one. Q, yeah, Q was the one. So, with the yeah, as Luke yeah. said, it, the third one was like almost like a community of... of um, polyamory with um it's a free-for-all basically yeah, yeah and and this is where they had the very sort of louis theroux-esque scene where they did the sort of sensual eating and feeding well that oh, was the most yeah. weird that was the most weird weekend he's weekend. been since yeah. uh, oh. the end of that series no. i did not want to see louis through in that situation i didn't want to see any of it but not I think louis theroux did and i think that was the no. point i love the fact that he asked his wife first i thought that was very good yeah of him. as a documentary uh, uh, it, it's an eye opener. I mean, I'm not surprised because <laughs> you know uh, uh, America is a blooming weird country, and the Northwest is weirder than most. But I don't feel convinced by hardly anybody in that piece that they actually were talking any truth, apart from those that were getting it on the side. Yeah. So apart from yes. Joe and Joe and Heidi, yeah, they're yeah. great. Gretchen and, Amanda. and Jerry are are appearing on this documentary through gritty teeth. Yes. Um, and their poor children are going to need therapy quick. The others were more kind of like sex based or kind of like, I don't know. Were more I mean, like Amanda like... as well. Sorry, Gary, to step over you. But Amanda no. was like, Nick and Bob were both like, I'd like to just be in a relationship with her. And she's like, nope. no, <laughs> no, nope, no. Nope. <laughs> and, I, and I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Louis actually managed to ask some very good questions because it was like that, as you say, that whole thing where Jerry suddenly announced, oh, I. I'd really like a threesome, and then Heidi shot him down quick. Maybe you know, not I, with I Heidi, maybe that... with Joe and Louie. <laughs> well, I don't know, yeah, with anything, really. Probably. We don't know probably. which way Joe is Jerry just wants someone. <laughs> Jerry just wants someone to stay with him, you know. Um, and uh, and I, I thought, Jerry. Yeah, and I felt, I felt quite bad for him, because clearly he, he didn't convince me of anything. I think the thing that showed is that, really, these people just can't commit to one person. And eventually, they're probably not going to commit to two. They're probably going to find someone else as well. They just that was can't. what was happening with Mateus and Q and that whole... Yeah. How did you feel about them it's... not assigning a gender to the baby? Oh, I know. As soon as I knew he was called <laughs> Q, I already hated him at that point. Yeah. Um, if, to just give... I, I think all my thoughts echo Gary's, but I think of all the shows we've discussed over the whole back catalogue of the podcast... This was actually the most fun. I know it was difficult to watch at times, but uh, it was the yeah, most it, fun. Oh, there was laugh out, uh, not intentional laugh out loud moments. Because I, I Such think as uh, what made you laugh well, out no, loud? No, there's nothing laugh out loud. But I think well for no, me, at Gary least, said there was a laugh out loud moment. So uh, uh, every, laugh out t- loud? every time Jerry was asked a question for me was funny. <laughs> Because oh, I, I found like, Jerry I was, was the was only funny. character I sympathised with. I really <laughs> thought. You, you could do a whole dog. But he's, he's, he's a liar, you know. He's not a very no, he's good not a li- He's not a liar. He just doesn't want to disappoint his, marriage, his wife. Yeah. He wants to keep the, his wife and his daughter under the same roof. He's not a liar. He's just trying to go along and make he's her just happy. A man, he, is, he, is li- he is lying to himself by saying he's okay with the situation and all right well, with that, it. And, that's and a different it. thing. That part, uh, that, that's where he's lying. Yeah, that's a different thing. But I think um, it kind of was. For me, an echo back, as I said, to the weird weekends where mm. Louis would immerse himself in these strange parts of America, these different communities that we don't really, as British yeah. people, like have a, a good handle on. Which he re- yes, revisited, and it? the wrestling and all, you know, yeah. all that sort of thing. Uh, and the next two, uh, the next one is about uh, people in California who can who've got life limiting conditions and can take medication to end their life early. And then the third one is about adoptions and people being reunited or perhaps giving their babies up for adoption. So this is the la- this is the the easy one out of the three and uh, I I really enjoyed it. I think Louis Theroux can do no wrong and I just thought it was really fun. I just found the hour went by quite quickly and I want to phone Jerry and make sure he's all right. 
I enjoyed it as much as I would any Louis Theroux documentary. Yeah. Really. I mean, this didn't maybe have some of the sort of the depth of, of like the ones we saw when he was in the UK. This is more, as you said, this is more of the tone of some of his earlier ones. But, some of but the I think we discussed it... that he's different in America to Britain. Louis, he acts differently. Yeah. He asks But then different even questions. like the last round of American ones with the sort of the drugs and the guns and things like that. I, I am that sure that the. Uh, I'm sure that the next two that I described will have the depth back, but I, I really enjoyed it. Louis Theroux's Altered States, not on this coming week, but back the following week of, with... Because of World War One. Because of the blooming war, yeah. 